last couple things about on mouse press. Okay, you can use math when you're doing on mouse press. So for example, uh, if I wanted to do something like uh, mouse X divided by 10 and mouse Y divided by 10, right? I can use a math operation, right? And click run, okay? So now when I click in the center, which is at 200, 200 roundabout, okay? It's actually placing my circle way up here because this is the point approximately 20, 20, right? It took my 200, divided it by 10, and it got the number 20, and it put the the the, uh, the circle up there, okay? So I can use any of my typical math operations, right? And that would be something that would uh, still work out, okay? Something to keep in mind when you're using math, though, is that you have to make sure that the math makes sense. So when I click, it worked. When I clicked, it worked. When I clicked, it worked, right? There's no issues here. But if I click over here, it doesn't work. Okay, and what it says is that circle opacity should be a number in the range from 0 to 100. And because my mouse was over here where X is bigger than 100, I have an error message, right? So when you're using your variables with, ad, you know, as parameters within your, your uh, circle program or your circle or whatever you're defining, uh, make sure that you, the math works out. So instead of this, what I can say is, okay, this canvas goes from 0 to 400. So my, if my highest number over here is 400, if I divide this by 4, right, now this number, if I click over here, will be 400 divided by 4, and that will be 100, which stays within the range of my opacity, right? So now if I click no issues, I can go all the way across to the end, and it, it's okay now. I'm staying within the range of 0 to 100, which is what the opacity does, okay? So sometimes you'll have to use these math operations just to keep you within the boundaries, right? Uh, so that's kind of one of the useful uh, ways that math operations will show up within your functions. Let's talk about changing number values, right? So let me go back to my screen here, okay? So if I wanted to, I could um, take my black rectangle here, okay? And create it, okay? I've created the normal one. I'm gonna get rid of the alignment. We'll make it a normal one, okay? And what I can do here is if I create, let's create an on mouse press. Let's make this fun, okay? Centered at mouse X and mouse Y, okay? And what I can say is every single time I click, okay, I'm going to say that black rect, uh, it, let's take its, uh, mouse, it's, uh, it's X coordinate, right? So this is called left, right? Mm -hmm. Uh, and let's take that and let's uh, move it to the left by 10, right? So I can do something like, let's take black rex left, okay? And I'm going to make it whatever the current black rectangle's left is, okay? Plus 10, okay? So this is a very common piece of code that you'll see is when you want to, when you want to change the location and maybe have it slightly move to the right and add 10 every single time a user presses, right? Let me show you what happens, right? Every single time they uh, we click, it's moving to the right by 10. The idea here is what it's doing is it's looking at the very left-hand coordinate of the rectangle, it's adding 10 to it, and then it's assigning that to the, the left coordinate, right? So it's saying, okay, right now, we're at a, a X coordinate of 200. When I run this, okay, and I click, it's saying, okay, well, the current left coordinate's 200, let me add 10 to that, let's make it 210, and then let's assign the left-hand coordinate of the black rectangle to be that. And there it is, 210. When I click again, now it's at 220, now it's at 230, right? So I can use my math operations in this kind of way to increase or decrease or change the value and then restore it so it can be continually updated throughout the program, right? So this is, again, something you might use as we start animating some of these pictures. Uh, you will be changing the property using math operations, okay? Okay, operation shortcuts, okay? Um, because some of the things like you see on the screen here, like this adding 10 is so common, instead of having to write all this out, there is a shortcut way of what's called incrementing the code, right? So we can say instead of black rect dot left plus 10, I can change this to just be plus equals 10, okay? And this means the exact same thing as what we originally had here. So, But instead of me having to say, Take what I originally had, add 10 to it, and restore it. If I just write plus equals 10, it knows to just take whatever is currently in black rect's left property, okay? And it knows to add 10 to it. So if I click run, it's doing the same thing, right? I can also do this with minus, right? So I can say minus equals, and it'll do the same thing, okay? When I click, it subtracts 10, right? So these little shortcut operators are nice because this is something that is so commonly used that we want a quicker way of writing it if we can. And so the increment operator will allow us to add, subtract, multiply, or divide, 
um, by a specific number value, and it'll just keep updating that property to use that instead.